only the defeated side has committed crimes in Rwanda, according to the Rwandan government. And someone like me, who's not even Rwandan, who's writing on the internet in a language Rwandans can't understand, in a medium that most cannot access, in a place where what I said was completely legal, can go into a country that my president has <coughs> said is changing, is becoming democratic, and find themselves sleeping on a concrete floor without food, without medical attention, without a blanket, and without the assistance of my embassy to get those things. And if anyone has any questions about why things are the way they are, they can direct it to the State Department, because I don't have a clue. But the recent evidence now is beginning to show that actually more Hutus were killed than Tutsis during this period. And even the Rwandan government says that the killings were Tutsis and moderate Hutus. There is not one memorial to the Hutus that the Rwandan government says defended Tutsis because Hutus are genocidaires. Lawyers like me and my colleagues are genocidaires. That when we say the evidence drums draws, forces us to draw a different conclusion, we're genocide deniers. As I understand that, um, that a uh, general who had uh, left Rwanda and gone into political exile in South Africa um, is barely alive after an assassination attempt in South Africa. Um, although I'm in uh, a country that protects the rule of law and human rights, um, I'm not sure that I'm safe here.